Rizwan says that uh, is it permissible for women to wear different colored uh, um, abaya or outer garment or jilbab uh, um, that, uh, that is a designer ones? Most of them are attractive, honestly. Well, the essence of a woman's jilbab. Jilbab is the outer garment. The abaya is the black dress that women wear in Arabia that covers their whole entire body. So this outer garment is mandatory in Islam for women to wear. Why? Because it has to conceal their bodies. It has to conceal their beauty so that men would not be tempted by it. Feminists say, why don't men look down and lower their gaze? So Anti-feminists say, why don't women come out naked? This is the dress code that Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, had made for people. Women, by nature, attract men. Like flowers attract bees. This is nature. This is how Allah made us. And it's not the other way around. So even if you have a handsome man, a, a, a really beautiful person, man, women would not look at him as much as when you have a beautiful bombshell. When you have a woman who's beautiful, men would turn their heads. This is something in their genes. This is something that Allah created them. And this is why women are obliged to wear the hijab and the niqab. While men, even no matter how handsome they are, they're not uh, uh, ordered or uh, uh, obliged to cover their faces or their hair or etc. So it defies the purpose of hijab when the outer garment is attractive. So it has to be black? No. It can be black, it can be brown, it can be dark blue, it can be a regular uh, um, color that is not attractive, whether it's like red or pink, this is attractive. It, it, it's like a peacock coming out. When it has drawings and decoration, this is beautiful. People would look and would wonder what is underneath, etc. So a pious and righteous and chaste woman would not go to the extreme of attracting people to her uh, but this doesn't mean that she cannot wear any other color. No, she can wear modest and normal colors, inshallah.